morning everyone if you're new thanks for joining me if this is your first ever video you clicked on of me or if it's your second or your third go down below leave me a comment say hi i'd love to welcome you here go to my main channel you can see playlists of my videos all the way back to 2011. i'm here in kenora ontario today i've got to pick up a load here again my regulars know that this is a regular route for me i go and pick something up here in kenora i bring it down to brainerd minnesota i drop it off What's different this week is when we're dropped off and empty in Brainerd, I head down to Beresford, South Dakota. We're going to pick up some, I think it's some roll of like drain tile or some, some pipe. We'll see exactly what it is when we get there. I'm going to pick it up there in South Dakota and I'm going to pull that up to Winkler, Manitoba. So that's the beginning of our week this week. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe down below and join our story and our family here online. I do is I document my life here on the highways of Canada and the United States like I said earlier I've been doing this for a while we started this channel back in 2011 I started this series in 2014 so there's three three years of videos before I figured out what I wanted to do on YouTube and started this now we're over what we're close to 3200 videos in this video series close to it not quite there yet but we're, we're getting there in the next week or so so it's, it's almost like a journal of my life, a video blog series. And you're all welcome to tag along with me through this crazy thing we called life. One of the reasons I started this channel was to show people what we do who aren't truck drivers. Okay, let's start that again. So one of the reasons I started making these videos was to show people who don't drive trucks or who aren't from a family of truckers like me, what we do on the road, what our life is like. Because how would you know? How would you know? Most of you probably haven't even been inside a semi-truck before if you're not a truck driver yourself. So why not tag along here on my channel, see what the life is like behind the scenes. You'll see what we deal with every day. And if you are someone who's thinking about getting into trucking, whether you're in Canada or the United States or anywhere else around the world for that sake, you can get an inside look to what life is like through my eyes. Now, remember, your life's gonna be a little different on the road. We each have our own story, but this is my story, and I'm glad you're here. So my day always starts off with a pre-trip of my truck. I go over my entire truck to make sure that everything is in good working order. You know, all the tires are inflated with air in them. It's pretty important. Make sure there's oil in the engine, coolant levels are good. Make sure there's no leaks. Go over the entire uh, brake system, airline system. Just quickly give everything a good look to make sure that everything is safe so that it's safe for me to come onto the highway with you and I'm not going to lose a tire or something or lose all air pressure in my system which would lock up all my brakes that would be inconvenient it was a three tarp kind of day had to use all three on this <laughs> hooray
color fast, don't they? Last week we were driving through here and it was still mostly green. It was just beginning to change color. Look at this, half the trees have lost all their leaves already. Yeah. It happens fast. I'm coming close to Deer River, Minnesota, if you're wondering where I'm at. I will get unloaded today. My ETA did a delivery point. It's probably going to be about 8.30. stop because I got to get to the receiver but I didn't even know you were in Minnesota <laughs> I had no idea you were here either I was just about to turn the other way off six and then I saw you pulling in here I'm coming from Spooner Wisconsin <laughs> oh and um heading homebound homebound right oh, I'm that's... hoping to make it up to Grand Forks but I don't think I'll make it there uh, pass the cross paths at the exact same time Without any planning or knowledge about it. That is amazing. <laughs> like, I gotta recognize that truck. Yeah, I do. Look if we had. I didn't see. I don't know where you, where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances? <laughs> and he didn't even see me. If I wouldn't have seen him, if I would have been like 30 seconds later i probably wouldn't have noticed his truck go by and i would have just Turn right and then. turned on Turn to highway right two off the six meters. right i would have just turned on the highway and it would have gone that way and we would have been right at the same corner at the same time we wouldn't even have seen each other <laughs> that was a nice surprise i can't really stay and visit with him because i'm in a rush but There he is. off rolled up get this freight off my trailer and <sniffs> zip on over to South Dakota tonight yet yeah, we are you guessed it in a rush and here's the update we have the tarps off straps off all of my corner protectors off all of my equipment is put away the tarps are back in their bags strapped down to the front of the deck here and now I'm just waiting for them to come and unload me Nine pieces on here, 21 foot lifts. Got my paperwork sitting on my step there, ready and waiting for them. So as soon as I get a chance, I'll come here, take these off and we'll be out of here. And out we go. Off to 
our next adventure. Beresford, South Dakota. I've got five hours available to me to drive tonight yet. We'll see how far we get. I got tired, so I pulled into some uh, random small truck stop. On the way down there, I still got about three hours to do tomorrow, but it's late. I don't want to be driving till five in the morning. We're gonna pull it in here. You know what's interesting? You know, I ran into my dad earlier today just randomly, right? Oh no, look at this, I ran into my other buddy just randomly. He's sleeping right now. So I don't want to wake him up by talking right beside his sleeper. But, uh, a day of running into random people. I think we're going to have to call this vlog. What are the chances? So yeah, there's the holiday truck stop. I don't even know what town this is. I'll have to look it up when I get back in the truck. Just random. I've never been to this place in my life. I never knew this was here. I didn't look it up on Trucker Path. I was just driving down the road. I came up to this town. I was like, you know what? I'm tired. There's a truck stop. Let's pull in. So I pull in here, I'm like, hey look, this guy's got a trailer that looks just like mine. I get a little closer, I'm like, wait a second. That trailer's identical to mine. There's no kidding. <laughs> he'll probably be gone by the time I get up in the morning, but he'll see me here. So let's see, what town am I in? Random town. Am I still in Minnesota? This is Clara City. Minnesota. Yeah. Clara City. Any of you from Clara City? Any of you been to Clara City before? It's a nice little town right here. But uh, this, this is a random place I'm calling, calling it a night. I'm gonna go back there, go to bed, get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be another long day because today wasn't as long of a day as I had planned it to be, but we did get a lot done. We got loaded in Kenora, we got tied down and tarped, drove six hours down to Brainerd, got untarped, took the straps off, put all my equipment away, got that load done, and I got down here to Clara City. So I was hoping to get a little further. I got 276 kilometers, like two and three quarter hours to go tomorrow yet. So uh, I'll probably be there early afternoon get loaded up, point my nose back towards Canada and be back up there. Yeah, probably late, earlier uh, than this. I'm here, it's almost 1 a.m. Time to go to bed. We'll see uh, what tomorrow brings. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's the most important thing you can do for me. I know it might not seem like much, but it is free and it's pretty effortless. You just gotta click that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate that. If you like the video, obviously hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you wanna take it one step further, you can become a member by clicking the join now button down below. That way you get early access to all my videos. You also get a special little badge in the comment section. And your messages get sent to a separate inbox on my end. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, but no pressure for that. Uh, if you just want to support me for free, leave me a comment down below. Helps me with the algorithm. Doesn't matter what you say. Whatever. Leave a leave a, a dot. Leave a pure a period. Surprise me. Be creative. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow.